Hello, I am Dr. Manish Gupta. The case we are showing here is an endoscopic uh, marine with chromate insertion. The part has been prepared with betadine and adrenaline soaked cotton placed to achieve hemostasis. Otherwise, the incision bleeds too lo a lot in the tympanic membrane. Here we are seeing a zero degree endoscopic picture of a right side tympanic membrane. And uh, we plan to give an radial incision with the help of a sickle knife in the antero inferior quadrant. The patient had uh, more than 20 decibels uh, AB gap for last three months, and our uh, tympanogram showed a B type curve on both sides. This is how the incision can be increased in length and width depending upon the type of a grommet we use. Care has to be taken that the tip of the sickle doesn't hit the promontory otherwise the mucosal damage will bleed a lot. Again, you can see a straw colored fluid coming out from the incision side. Suction removal of this uh, fluid is being done. Again, you can appreciate the movement of the fluid within the middle layer behind this translucent tympanic membrane as the fluid is being sucked out. This is the Shah type of grommet which we use where the inner flange has a boot shape which uh, is easy to use also and insert and also has a longer tail. With the help of a crocodile we place the grommet inside and uh, with the help of a needle or here like being shown a perforator we push the boot flange into the incision side till it snugly fit with a snap since we are using an endoscope we are using a single handed technique And see with the snap it goes inside and we have to ensure that it is not loose so we can use a suction again also to remove a blood clot if any from the lumen of the grommet similarly on the left side we have prepared a part with betadine cleaned the canal Again, using adrenaline soaked uh, cotton oil to achieve hemostasis from the tympanic membrane. Using a sickle knife and a radial incision in an enteroinferior quadrant. You would have appreciated the TM Mosdal in picture with the absent cone of light. But here for a surprise it is known as a dry tap where there is no fluid on giving an incision. This happens when the patient has been taken under general anesthesia sometimes 
may be because of preoperatively bag mask ventilation which may have displaced the fluid from the middle ear through the eustachian tube same shot type of grommet being inserted placed in the external canal the flange being a boot shaped flange engaged in the incision and the grommet pushed inside till it snugly fits with a snap again patient had a good hearing improvement immediate post op and uh, thanks for watching